carb podcasting was a thing. <laughs> and unfortunately, um, I have to do another carb podcast today because <laughs> I see my little buddy in the back making faces. That's really cool. Um, I didn't even get the podcast out on Wednesday and I'm really sorry. So I just wanted to check in and do this little mini podcast thing. Um, and, and I apologize for any crazy shenanigans. <laughs> um, and you know it's a podcast. It. You know it's a podcast, so you have to let me talk about my knitting. Um, just did, 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 I'll let you close it up. Don't worry. <laughs> um, yeah. So I just wanted to check in and share with you some of my progress over the week. And I've been. <laughs> it's wavy at the bottom because it needs to be blocked, obviously. But I have a funny little story with this. It's a it's a small shawl. Um, I think I could have made a few more rows, but I was running out of yarn, so I ran out of the cascade yarn which I knew was going to happen. And I kind of looked through my stash, not really sure what I was going to use because this is a DK weight and I don't have a lot of DK. It's either um, inexpensive worsted weight or fingering weight yarn that I have. And the fingering weight, um, I don't really have dark colors like this. It's, I have, I tend to veer more toward bright colors purples, blues, stuff like that. So I didn't have anything black or red. Um, I suppose I could use gray for it, but um, I was just looking through the stash anyway, just to see what I did have. I had a few ideas in mind. And then I found this ball of yarn that I had dyed up about a year and a half ago, maybe a little, almost two years ago. And I pulled it out. I'm like, hey, you know what? That would actually look really cool. Um, it was just kind of like a test thing before I really knew how to do any dyeing. Not that I'm like some pro or anything, but I pulled that out and I started knitting with it and I love the way it looks. So it started here, I believe. I mean, you can definitely see where like the difference between the Cascade and this. And this is a worsted, I believe, but the DK and worsted are so much alike to me. They're very similar, they're so thick that it worked out well um and once it's blocked i'll just block the crap out of it <laughs> and once it's blocked i think it'll look really cool but i'm really happy with the way it looks and there's my little progress keeper my little yarn ball and needles but i'm really happy with how it looks with how it turns out and the bind off is actually really cool uh, i'm about to lose it actually i like the way the bind off is in it. and reina is a free pattern so if you take a look at that um I, I highly suggest knitting this. It's like the um, a rite of passage shawl. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and that's all I have left. So I was even playing yarn chicken with um, the the secondary yarn that I was using for this shawl. So it was a close call. But it's nice to get rid of, use up, <laughs> not get rid of, but use up some stash yarn. That's always a fun thing to do. And just life stuff. We have actually been out of town we're heading back tonight, but we have been out, we haven't been staying um, at home because it was so cold. And like it, the the RV stays pretty warm, it's livable, but with the cold weather, it was like minus 25 and with wind chill, it was minus 37 Celsius. So it was, um, someone's in a lot of pain here. I think it's nap time. Um, it was just too cold for us to stay there and my husband had to work anyway so he took us away and we figured out yeah, you know what we'll stay with family and then we'll go to a hotel for a couple nights go to the pool so we did that um, we're heading back tonight and I really want to go back home <laughs> um, the weather's kind of let up a little bit it says one degree right now but it's definitely warming up which one degree Celsius it's not too bad I feel like this is the most painful um, podcast. This is why I don't podcast with anybody around because somebody doesn't like to give any attention to me. <laughs> she wants all the attention for herself. You want to wrap it up and say, hey, thanks for watching? Hey, thanks for watching. Can you give a nice smile so it doesn't look like your life is awful? Are we going to go inside? All right. Well, I will catch up with you guys later and um, make a more substantial podcast. Bye.